Hello everyone, and I'm back again with another short video. We're going to be talking about Andy Cohen, y'all. Andy Cohen and his contraction of the coronavirus. Okay, what's going on with Andy sitting up there? Who did you come in contact with, my brother? Okay, so send all your prayers up for Andy Cohen. Even if you don't like him, he's still a human being. Send your prayers up. Send your condolences of him getting better. And um, returning back to us from whence he came, healthy young man, gorgeous young Caucasian man. Yes, he is. All righty, yes. I do, and I am attracted to the Caucasian, the Eskimo, the Native Americans. I'm not just attracted to my own race is what I'm trying to say. He's a damn good-looking man. Sorry that he is a uh, homosexual and not bisexual. Or not bisexual, but heterosexual i think i meant to say okay but anyway i want to say hey to my day ones yes miss sunshine valley hello girl thank you for coming into the chat because it was a gloomy day <laughs> and i saw you i like that my girl that my sunshine we will be walking peacefully in sunshine heading for the valley of happy times my sunshine valley is on deck okay and of course my day one p.m patricia casey yes honey can't do without my p.m patricia casey then we got rita hopkins thank you being a day one miss hollywood miss lynette are you a y o o mr demonte okay James is who he calling himself. Welcome, James. Uh, Terry Fowler is a new one coming. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tommy C Cardwell, welcome, honey. I've seen you before, but you're becoming to be a regular. Welcome on home, honey. Welcome home. And day one, Real Talk with Lady D, Marisol White, Boo Bear Girl. How you doing, Boo Bear? How you hanging out, Marisol? Are you fair and well, girl? <laughs> Girl, have we been on point lately, girl? How you hell you been doing, Marisol? Okay, then we got Vera Louis Williams up in here. Hey, 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 girl, how you doing? Uh, with my day one at Amy VW from Canada, girl. I'm glad your birthday was a happy one. And hey, every time we wake up, it's a new birth for us. That's how I look at it, but I love uh paying homage when i do hit that day i came into the world so again happy 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 birthday to you and wish you many many more from your family over here okay that's right the family affair wished you a happy birthday okay and my leslie barber day one annie gunnott uh anna banana girl my day one shirley james welcome minnie garcia welcome pat mitchell back in the house okay and the ones that didn't get a chance to make it over uh love and kisses to you all i know y'all can't come in on certain days that i do put out videos but y'all come y'all come all right and I say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But let's just see what's going on with Dog Gunner Andy Cohen. I had been meaning to get back with um doing something with him, especially when I had saw he had contracted the um the virus and stuff. And I said, Lord, it just rains when it pours. When one celebrity gets the uh <coughs> excuse me, gets summer seem like it just Pours out other celebrities because they've been coming out in droves. Look like my little favorite. Um, when I used to work, watch the soap operas religiously, I used to watch this one on. I think it was called Young and the Restless. And Kevin used to be over there cutting up the problem child. Kevin, he got the coronavirus. And Tom Hanks, you know, he got the coronavirus as well. Him and his wife, <clears throat> they're actually. Um, what do you call it recovering from the coronavirus and things of that nature but yeah honey and you know got some basketball stars kevin durant i think he got it a few others um can't think of them right now but we definitely want to send prayers up for them speedy recovery and for the uh health administration act to help us out to get these tests so we can tell whether or not we got the coronavirus okay so we can know for peace of mind's sake. 
but that was just my little rant and my little welcome to the family uh when they coming over to the house okay because i do try to acknowledge y'all acknowledge me i must as well acknowledge you all okay because y'all could be doing something else with your time but you came over here to spend it with as y'all see me your aunt your grandmama your mama your cousin however y'all see me okay so thank you, thank you, thank you, love and kisses all the way around. But we're gonna get into this story by Andy Cohen, yeah. And he better be touch, uh be protecting baby Benjamin over there, sitting up there. Yeah, I see them Clorox wipes and all that other stuff. Yes, protect the baby, protect the baby. But anyway, we have a, a journalist by the name of Lindsay Cronin. She did uh <coughs> some what do you call it? Uh, a piece on Andy Cohen from Reality Blurb. I guess she's one of the writers over there uh, for them when it comes to salacious stories or trending hot topics. She titles her article, Andy Cohen hints at how he may have contracted the coronavirus. Plus, he explains why Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and Real Housewives of New York premiere dates can't be moved up and which housewives he's been texting in quarantine okay it says david excuse me <clears throat> days before andy cohen announced his positive test for the coronavirus the bravo host hinted on his radio show on how he may have contracted covid19 and it also explains the reason the premiere dates for the real housewives of atlanta of new york city and the uh, real housewives of beverly hills cannot be moved up and shared with uh housewives he has been in contact in, with, with uh, contact with in recent days. Prior to Andy's reveal on Friday that he has the coronavirus, he told listeners of his own Sirius XM radio show, Andy Cohen Live, that other than the occasional walks outside with his son, uh, one-year-old Benjamin, he had been hunkered down in his Big Apple apartment along with Ben and his nanny. He also noted that he had been helping one of his neighbors who had been diagnosed with the illness and was unable to go out in public. I have a neighbor who has coronavirus and I went out to get them food at the supermarket and some supplies and I left them in front of their door. He shared on March 16th. And to continue, the person that I know that has it has had terrible aches and pains and chills. This has been going on for almost a week. They just can't shake it. Two days later, Andy revealed he developed a 99.5 degree fever while also noting that he had come across a couple of other people with the virus. And he lives in New York, which is the hardest hit state in America, accounting for over 50% of the 30,000 cases in the country. I have never, <coughs> excuse me, I have a neighbor who has it. I have a friend who has it. There's someone in my building who just got it and revealed on the March 18th episode, and it has it, okay? And it also appeared on Amy Phillips' uh, series XM show, Reality Check, and responded to Bravo fans who had been hoping to see Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and Real Housewives of New York premiere dates moved up. According to Andy, it all has to do with the editing. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting so much like just release New York now and release Beverly Hills now. The issue is that there are only a certain amount of episodes that are totally color corrected and locked right now for both of those shows. And explain to Amy Phillips on her Cyrus XM show on Thursday. I think for New York there's like eight or nine done and for Beverly Hills there's like five done or something like that. Although moving up the series premiere dates may have been possible at some point, it doesn't appear to be possible any longer because the show's producers are having to edit the episodes remotely, which is much more labor intensive and slower. If we release all those now we would wind up screwing ourselves in the end, so that's the issue. And he said, the truth of the matter is, if this coronavirus crisis is going to go on for a while, just think of how much more we're going to be ready for Real Housewives of New York when it premieres. And he also uh, revealed which Bravo Housewives he's been in contact with while being in quarantine. He said, I spoke to Nene Leakes the other day, and then I've just been texting with a lot of them. He dished. I was texting with Denise Richards today, and then I text with uh, Lisa Vanderpump today. I spoke to Beverly Franklin a couple of days ago. 
Okay. So Andy is making his rounds. And for him not to per se. Like Nene Leaks Or you know other people that seem to not be on the show anymore. It must be is what it is. Okay. Because he definitely stand in to know what Nene Leaks. Okay. Because he made it apparent to let everybody know. That they had been talking. Or they had had a conversation since he's been off air and i'm sure it was a lot about you know how he's feeling what she could do for him this that and the third and the same with uh bethany frankel who i don't think it's on one of the shows beverly hills new york anymore she resigned or took a leave herself and i don't know if uh, vanderpump is still a part of the uh, franchise as well on an ongoing basis <clears throat> but it just is what it is honey so i'm like damn andy you didn't necessarily come in contact with them, but you knew they were sick, and you got it. That's why I, said, I believe this shit is airborne. I don't care what nobody say. But it just is what it is. New York has definitely been hit on a lot of other places. Georgia, it's just, I believe, because we don't have the test kits, uh, we would probably test a little higher, much higher, because we're becoming like the melting pot of New York. We in the south of Atlanta, a lot of people are congregating here. They're they're migrating here uh, to find fame, fortune, and to uh, have their chance at superstardom by being on these reality shows. And we have production companies here in town now. We have uh, movie sets where they actually film down here. I'm sure you know of Tyler Perry. He's one of them. And the other ones uh, really don't become as exposed as Tyler Perry is. But we do do a lot of uh, movie scenes down here or the production of creating movies down here in Atlanta. So we have definitely become the second uh, melting pot of people wanting to come live here and hopefully be superstars. Whether they're in the music industry, the rap game, the you know singing or whatnot. We have a plethora of people that actually live in Georgia, born and bred here. That have super talent when it comes to the vocals, um, and <coughs> people come here to buy homes, you know, land and property to be close to the who's who and. You know, the movie productions and stuff of that nature. Because they are starting to film a lot here in the South. Um, and that's pretty interesting. And it's not just like, you know, slavery type pictures they're trying to reenact. No, these are like action-packed films or drama films. So, they're get, we're getting a lot of uh, play down here. So, a lot of people are coming here bringing their diseases as well. And, you know, I hate this here. People try to dog Atlanta saying, you know, they have a lot of gay people here. They have this, that, and that. You know, try to throw negative salt on our state. When necessarily, no, it's a lot of people come here with their illnesses and infect other Georgians here. And they always like to say that, you know, we ain't no good and, and, and we got the highest rate of HIV. But, hey, those stats weren't done until a lot of people were congregating coming to Georgia. Because it's only very rare people that you see be cutting up, acting up, that are really true Georgia peaches. You see what I'm saying? They Georgia peaches from other places they may come. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the surrounding areas of Georgia. It could be Tennessee. It could be uh, Kentucky. You know, everybody's not brought, brought here. I mean, everybody's not grown and bred here. They're brought here or some thing or purpose brought them here. And they just like to claim that, yeah, we're you know we're Georgian now and this, that, and the third. I ain't even been here in five seconds or no later than five years. And they, they know everything about Georgia. <laughs> I'm like, these people be tripping me out. But the ones that are truly born here, we are the nicest. We the most hospitable people that you are uh genuine people that you could ever run across trust and believe that trust and believe that but that's all i had on this story with andy cohen i'm sorry he got it hopefully he will recover uh real soon and he can get back into his studio and start doing what he loves to do which is talk myths and start shit uh, throughout the franchises with the women, honey, you know that's what he do. He loves stirring it up, but that's what that's why he have his show, and that's what he's do. That's what he is geared to do. Okay.
but again blessings for him to get a, get to a speedy recovery back into his element that he used to thrive in and may we can definitely slow down this illness of this coronavirus and get the proper medical attention that we so do deserve as american citizens but it just is what it is people it just is what it is but family get down in them comments y'all tell me what y'all think about mr anna coins and his reasoning on how and why he probably got what he got and he's taking care of the situation, okay? Because we all don't know. We don't know why, how and why we get this coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? Just don't crept up on us. Was it science related? Did it Was it created in a lab for mass destruction? Or used for biological warfare? Or was it used for depopulation? Hell, I don't know. The conspiracy theories in my mind are just going off simultaneously, okay? And I know I have some fam out there think the same way I think too, okay? I'm just saying. We think out the box. We be like, well, what if this happened? Well, what if this could happen? You know, we be like Plan B, C, D, E, L. <coughs> Stop it, Elijah. Come here. And try to figure out what scenario sits and fits well with us. All right. But I want to thank y'all for coming by. Family. Fair. Family. Fair. Thank you for coming by the Deb Snails for this world. Okay. I couldn't do it without y'all. Y'all couldn't do it without me. Because we like to sit and talk with each other and congregate with one another. Okay. But y'all be safe in them streets. Okay. And I will see y'all next video. Love y'all to the core. Good night.